Welcome my friends, this is Maniacal Incorporated, and today I am going to continue with my Ireland playthrough, playing as Flan Sinna in the 867 start. We're up to 895, and recently we have joined a war with West Francia, our allies, my son Green Grafador's uh, father-in-law, the king of West Francia, and we've entered a war against Lothringa for the Kingdom of Italy. And as you can see, Lothringa has some land here in, uh, in Britain. So what we're going to do is we are going to raise our armies in Ireland and we're going to siege that down. Now, before doing that, we collected quite a substantial amount of money. Raiding in our accidental overseas colony up here in, in Norway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that money to some good use. And we're going to build a market in Athlone, in our capital. Before we do anything else, we're going to raise our armies. And uh, we're going to raise our armies. We're going to come here and raise all. They will be raised in Athlone. And what we'll do while our army is raising is we will... Uh, Flanson is commanding the army. That's no good. I don't fully understand why Flanson was put in command of the army there. We won't put Green Grafador in charge. Uh, we'll put... We'll put Dermot again. Dermot did a good job the last time. And uh, we'll put Dermot in charge. This frees us up. And while the army... It's now up to full capacity. But uh, what we can do is to work off some stress. We can do a training montage. So we do another lap. We get a sweaty stench and we lose 28 stress. So 1980s training montage. Okay, maybe not. And here, under the command of Dermot... Our vassal, our one and only vassal, and we're going to march them on the Lothringian uh, holdings up here in uh, in Scotland. Uh, we vastly outnumber the Lothringian forces. They've already taken some uh, some hits, and um, we like I'm doing anything. And here is the um, the actual main component of the army, the the main contingent, the uh, the French forces, and we have a, a relatively a small group. And um, you can see how valuable that um, that thing that we're building over here is going to be to us at, at some point in time, the marketplace, because we're down, we're making a loss now due to our vow of poverty, which we kind of, I won't say we need to keep it, but uh, it'd be costly piety-wise to get rid of it. Vow of poverty is decreasing our tax income and increasing our, our monthly piety. Uh, we'd be getting very little otherwise, so we do kind of need to use it. But uh, let's get the forces across the Irish Sea. Everything is the Irish Sea, even though this is technically the Irish Sea. It's all the Irish Sea. Everything is the Irish Sea. There's nothing but the Irish Sea. We're going to get them across and get them uh, sieging down some territory. So we've just sieged down Carrick. We've gotten ourselves some money and we're now heading on to Lancashire. And uh, I think these are the first the first actual major achievements that the uh, the coalition is scoring. So we might end up winning this battle single-handedly for the uh, the French. I hope our father-in-law is thankful. He better be. And is Lothringa suffering internal problems? There is a Bavarian claim on the Kingdom of Italy. Ooh. So that's a separate war. Wow, Lothringa is in a bad state. Um... It's defending it against our claim on Italy. Well, our our claim, uh, our our Lee. Oh, no, he's not our liege. He's our son's brother, uh, father-in-law. Um, somebody. Oh God, that's going to put us in trouble. The Isles are attacking uh, Carrick, but I've just seized it. And then, um, wow. So this has turned into. This has turned into the Battle of England. In 1066, or the Battle for England, we have Bavaria. We have West Francia, and we have uh, Jorvik, all claiming Italy. I have no idea what's after happening in Italy, that all this is breaking out. This guy has nowhere near enough forces. But what's going to happen is that somebody's going to win, and there's going to be a redirection of the war goal. Now, our big problem is that if um, if the, the guy in Jorvik does eventually... Or if we win it, regardless of who wins it... Um, Jorvik has the biggest army at the moment, so it's going to be interesting to see how exactly this goes. On the one hand, we're probably doing a bad job. 
by sieging these places down. On the other hand, we need the money. So we are getting money by uh, by raiding these places. These are substantial, substantial holdings beyond what we would have had uh, before. I might take one more. We might just take Dunbar and then withdraw. Ooh. And we can see here... Now what is this? Is this... Um... Yeah, it's the Kingdom of Lotharinga. They're bringing in their forces. They are not happy. They're not impressed with us hanging around in Dunbar. Um, I've no idea what's uh, what's going on down here. What our what the actual head of the alliance is doing. They've gotten a chunk of men out of somewhere, and um, yeah, it looks like we are going to be leaving. We're very close. We're very close to to sacking Dunbar. But we're not going to be able to take that down. We're actually going to have to lift the Siege of Dunbar and run. And here, Flan Sinna gets divine retribution. Now, Flan Sinna's mind has been, I won't say turned again. I don't necessarily want to come down this route just yet. Of course, I actually can't change this. I was going to say I was going to change my focus, but I can't. Not for five years. Uh, so possibly we will we will open up one more of these. Um, I don't think he's too bothered, but uh, what I would like to do is quite shortly to move in probably the, the August direction. Oh no, not, not, um, not that specifically. Uh, Majesty Focus. Um... Oh, we can. We're actually in line to change it. Right, perfect. Let's see. Let's see what uh, what route we want to go down. Monthly prestige per dread. Oh, I think that's where we're going to go down. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch to uh, getting some extra prestige because we do need it, and we're going to come down this side here. We are actually going to come down uh, the August direction. Uh, prestige from dread and uh, prestige per night. And even if we can just get that, get that um, to start with. That would be fantastic. They would be two great directions. Um, Flansina, like I said, he's moving up in the world. He's now, he's in wars with the King of France. The King of the West Franks is uh, is calling him into alliances. So he's getting a big head in him. Now, ah, oh, Yasra just died, the poor old thing. She was waiting to be tortured for so long. Let's go to our court. All we have is this one person. We have our stress it's not exactly at the highest. She's an evil zealot. Flansina is going to go down into the dungeons. And he will lose 14 stress. If she knows one, we might even discover a secret. And we might gain dark insights. So this is becoming Flansina's coping mechanism this and working out he's turning into your man from american psycho and we gain some prowess so i don't have him uh i don't have him we'll ransom her off for four quid uh oh she's being tortured <laughs> she's 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 busy at the moment she's busy uh these rats might seem shy says Flansina, man. Oh, look at that for a creep. There's, oh, there's, there's a man who knows how to catch a bucket of rats. Uh, I say as I strap the bucket to Nan's exposed chest. But once it gets warm in here, they will do anything to escape. Luckily for them, their teeth are very sharp. She pleads for mercy as I reach for the glowing coals. Uh, recently tortured, she gains, ooh, a lot of stress. And she might become a lunatic. There you go, let's see how that works out. So Flans are going in strange, dark directions. Uh, we've had a bit of a change here in... Um, in the south of England. Remember in the last episode I said Cornwall was gonna... Cornwall and Wessex were gonna merge? Well, never mind. And... Uh, is there a babby? There's a babby! In control of Kent. I have a grandson. Oh yes, I knew about this. I knew, I knew that my, that um, what's her name was with child. So we come here. Here is me. Here is my son, Green Grafador, 
and there is his son, Congus. Small little baba. I don't think he's gotten the giant trait. Oh, that's a pity. That's a pity. From his mother, his giant of a mother. She is pregnant again, though. She is pregnant again. I'm not too sure where they're off to. Will we march back and take Dunbar? Why not? Why not? Uh, my son and heir, Green Graffalor, has been quarrelling with his sister, Countess Orna, for days. Just now I can overhear them arguing in the next room over. Unbelievable, Green Graffalor shouts. How can a witch like you believe you are the ideal manifestation of Hundred Battles family virtues? I am clearly far more deserving of that distinction than you are. So this is uh, Ked Kahak. The nickname of Khan Ked Kahak, um, Khan of the Hundred Battles. So it's kind of a strange, strange thing. Uh, I let them sort their quarrels in peace. Diligent and shy, so it gives me a lot of stress. No fighting in this family. Enter the room and fight them. I draw my sword. Uh, as I walk into the room, Green Graffador turns to face me. I am glad you are here, Flancina. You'll call me father. I'm your father. How dare you call me by my name? Won't you please talk some sense into your daughter, Countess Orna? J just call her Orna. Why are you being... Stop being so official. Uh, she is being completely unreasonable. Yes, shame on you, Orna. Uh, you are in the wrong here, Green Graffador. You're both acting like petulant children. Petulant children gives me the most lifestyle experience. I don't care about my children. Um, I care about lifestyle experience. So if we take a brief moment to see how this, this mess is going here. Bavaria has, if I am right, a 79% uh, war score in their favor. Um, against um, the King of Lothringa. So that's Bavaria's claim. And then our claim is at 27%. And it's two, pretty much two counties. It's pretty much me doing all the work. So he seems to have beaten off Jorvik. So Jorvik's battle has ended. Um, he could come out of this. He could succeed in this. But it looks like Bavaria is going to take it. And possibly we might then have to, uh, to fight Bavaria. So this is going to be a long war. For the Irish. And we don't have a huge amount of money. We do. But I want to spend it on, on other things. Um, oh god. Helgi has. Oh Jesus. He's taken Valencia. And we've built that trading post. So we should. Uh, we should start to. Not lose as much money. I won't say we're going to start to make money. We're going to not lose as much money. But if. Um, if Lothringa leaves us alone. We have a lot of places here to siege. And take money from. So hopefully, hopefully they'll be nice to us. Oh, they raise some troops at a very bad, a very inopportune moment for them. We can barely call that a battle. Um, what we will do? Where we march you guys to? Um, down into Jorvik. My God. Oh my. God. God, the Gardariki have just huge armies. What are they doing? Where are they going? Don't tell me they've declared some kind of a war against Scotland. Because if they have, we're... He's attacking the Isles. In Albin's claim for the Jarldom of the Isles. Oh my God, you insane lunatic. At half strength, they're still bringing... 5,000 troops to bear against you. You absolute nutcase. Oh no. Hi. Chiefess Maria has been murdered. So this was my wife. And she was murdered by Green Graffador. What? What? What is his what is his plan here? Is he trying to stop me from having any more children so that they don't take titles? But I think pretty much 
every single one of my sons is getting a title. What has driven him to do this? I hope you find peace, Maria. I'm going to get some stress from that. Queen Graffador. I thought there might be an option to um, to arrest him or something. What is he at? The Mad Lad. We've sieged Dunbar. We've captured the Earl of Dunbar. Um, he's visiting my prison at a bad time. We're going to move our forces back to Brefney. We're going to finish sieging down this area. What is he at? I wonder, is he the one that's planning against, uh, plotting against my spy master as well? And we have taken another guy prisoner. These guys are visiting my prison at a very bad point in time. Okay, look, I'm not that, I'm not that bad. Oh, wait, no, maybe I am. Uh, can't ransom her. Is it because I tortured her? Should I have not tortured her? Um, ransom. Oh, no, I can't ransom her. But we will ransom her for 10. Look, in all fairness, I'm not that bad. Um, we're not going to execute a lowborn baby. How much money will I get for you? I'll get 34. What is he? He's Norse! Well, I don't care if he's Christian. And we gain some intrigue. Ah, the good old wreck. I can hear him scream. Oh, he's going to get 200 stress. Oh, wow. Oh, that's not good for you, my friend. That is not good for you. Um, oh, and we've driven him insane. We've driven him insane with our torture. Can we ransom him? We can ransom him to himself. And he'll accept. We'd be only too glad to get out of there after what we've done to him. It's it's short and to the point. He wants out. Uh, it's telling me I get paid zero, but um, I think that's wrong. Right, okay. Flansina is allowing the uh, the very worst of his nature to get the better of him, which is exactly what we want. Um, how are we looking over here? We're up to thirty nine percent war score now. That's not a lot. Yeah. Then again, we are just we are just occupying random places. We've lost. Everything that isn't something I've taken. So all we have, all we have to our name is the places that I have. Uh, his forces continue to grow. Bavaria is up to 98%. They have taken substantial chunks of, of the actual place that they're attacking for. Oh yeah, that's actually a good idea. Maybe that's what we should have done. But now, if we come here to Scotland, and we see how things are going here. He's down to 1,700 troops. He's attacking in an absolute insane war for the Isles. I don't know what drove him to do this. You may have noticed that we are pulling our forces out of Britain. Uh, we're going to stand them down, and we are immediately going to attack uh, Oriel, if, uh, if we're in a position to do so. Wall shock nail comes of age, and uh, he should be in a position now to marry Blanche. Now, do we still have an alliance here? This is with the Count of Bourbon, which is uh, exactly where this um, this alliance is coming from. Uh, marriage between Wall shock nail and Blanche, and also through my own marriage to the High Chiefess uh, Reglinda. So we will accept that proposal. Um, are we in a position to marry anyone else now after our son killed one of our children? God damn it. Cock blocked by our son. That's not cool. That is not cool. After all they've done to him, even though she's hot, would Flansina marry a Norse woman? So we're going to have Flansina marry into, we're well not marry into this household, but he's going to take another wife. So we had one, or well we had three, but then one of them got murdered by our son. 
Um, so predominantly for her diplomacy, we're going to marry this. Um, going to send a proposal. So what we're going to do instead of executing this baby, that's four, four year old. Uh, so instead of executing this, uh, this, this four year old, we're going to demand their conversion to insular Christianity and get a weak hook on them. And um, oh yeah, because if I was to just let them go, I would become stressed, wouldn't I? So yes. So we're gonna we're gonna get a weak hook on a four year old. Why? And we're gonna demand their conversion to insular Christianity. So we accept. And the child immediately comes of age. Oh wait, no, this is a different. This is a different son. Um, we'll come back to this in a second because that alliance mightn't be. Might be great. Um, they go up so fast. And hopefully this baby gets back to us soon. There we are. The baby has no choice but to accept our vastly superior methods for the calculation of Easter. Don't don't feel bad, baby. You're you're going down the right path now. So just a, a quick look at the wars before we go and do anything else. Um, so this is Bavaria. And their war for the Kingdom of Italy. And Lotharinga seems to have brought his forces up to, to full-ish capacity. It's close enough. 3,700 is his, is his top capacity. Um, these guys are down to 50% capacity. They've also lost a tiny bit of war score. I think they were at like 99% at one stage. So they may have lost some land. So this is Bavaria's claim for the Kingdom of Italy. And then this is West Francia's claim for the Kingdom of Italy. And as you can see, Monster, Monster, Monster is on their side. We've sieged down some territory up here in Britain. Um, but we're way down. We're way down at 44%. Oh, uh, they've, they've finally taken somewhere else. So Lancashire, the North Riding, Carrick and Dunbar are all places I've sieged. Turin, well done, King of the West Franks, well done. Uh, he's finally actually gone and done something. He's he's occupied Turin. Um, it's entirely possible that Bavaria will win this war. And that then we'll probably end up at war with Bavaria. So here is our son, um, Geralt, who recently came of age. And he was betrothed with a while to a bastard child of the House of Eschenlohe. Uh They've been good to us. They've, they've came to our defense. It's now... Held by, um, who is she? Is she the the child of this guy? It must be, yeah. So the, the alliance has still has still stood, which is good. So it was 400 troops. Um, so we'll, we'll accept that. And um, from what I can see, our alliance either stands or has been reformed. Oh, I think we lost it when the actual person that we negotiated the betrothal with died. We lost the alliance, but now we've gotten it back. Maybe that's the way I'm reading it. Uh, so we got a good strong army, if it was needed for something like, oh, I don't know, the conquest of a bit of Scotland. Uh, we're going to wait for our forces to come back up to full capacity. What's after happening here? The Duchy of, of um, Frisia, or Frisia is after uh, landing. They might be... Uh, so my recent, my recent marriage... Uh, she's after becoming pregnant. Who who are these armies? I don't even know who these armies are. Uh, but yeah, they might be sieging back. They might be sieging back Lothringa. Very quickly, before we do anything else, let's look at how the conduct of the war is going up here. You mad... Oh my god, you fool. He's down to 128 troops uh, against 5,000. This guy's down to half capacity, and he is still at 5,500 troops. This is one of the most terrifying alliances that there is. Uh, here is King Helgi, and here is his concubine, my daughter, who he has forced, my, my ex-wife, well, not my ex-wife, he, he took her off of me, and uh, forced her to divorce me, and took her as a concubine. But here is my poor daughter, she has given him two children, one of whom is now in line for the chiefdom of Valencia, or Valencia, maybe it's Valencia Island, and the chiefdom of... So, he was in line for Alicante at one stage. Who's Alicante going to know? Oh, I think Alicante was handed out as a, um... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you've done. And my other child... My other grandchild with him. 
Um, my other grandchild is um, is also in line for well, he's not in line for anything at the moment. So there you go, the the pop up that aired my stepfather, who slept with my wife and had a bastard child that got his head ripped off in the Battle of R.D., which I'm still bitter about, Eilth, my former liege, who uh, controlled Alach, and I went to war with him. He was a high king of Ireland. I went to war with him for independence, and then he lost his lands. He drank himself to death at 67 years of age, preceded by a good chunk of his children, four children. Ah, no, he's got plenty more left. One of his sons is oh, is in the 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 um, the Gallo glass. Fantastic. We might be we might be um, hiring them at some stage for something. But he's he's drank himself to death, and I now become the head of the family. I thought I was actually the head of the family for a while, but I'm the house uh, the the head of house um, Neil uh, house Enail. I'm not the dynasty head, which is the the king of Scotland. I'm hoping that. Uh, that comes to me shortly. What's he after picking? Guile. Ooh. So we become... We become more dreadful. Excellent. That's that's kind of good. Because I'm doing some, some stuff that's... Uh, that dread... I think I get extra prestige per level of dread or something. So that's pretty good. But we are now the the, the head of House Enail. Which I believe means that I can divorce at will. Which is good. Um, I've had a bug... A reason where I can't and I still can't um, pan around the um, the thing. I can I can zoom in and zoom out, but I can't actually pan around. There's some people up here, no idea what's going on. Can't get to them. Uh, but there I am, and um, there was Ed. There was his. Oh, he's got a much bigger family than me. And here is poor Katrina. And oh Lord. Descendants of the Rurikid. Kid. Absolutely devastating. But there you go. We became the, the, the heads of um, of House Enail. Here, actually, is the the head of the entire dynasty. Um, of House Keth Kahak, or whatever it's called. And um, speaking of which, with his troops down to nothing, we're going to declare war. We could subjugate him at this stage. Dear God, we could subjugate him. Um... What are my what are my claims? My claim is to is to Oriel. Uh, it would cost a poultry thirty one prestige. If we were to conquer the county, it would cost thirty eight. Um, Jesus, we could we could actually subjugate him at this point in time. Now we can't because we've already done that to subjugate Munster. We are going to declare war to push our claims, our mother's claims actually, but she's gone and no, our mother's claims are down here. We're going to push our claims on Oriel. And liberate Armagh. There we are, the Varnia of Armagh. We're going to liberate Armagh, the holy site of insular Christianity. A holy site of insular Christianity. And we're going to liberate it from the Scottish. We're basically going to kick them while they're down. Uh, and this time, this time, I'm not going to... There's only one place to fight for, but... Um, we're not going to make the same mistake as we did the last time. And declare war for the wrong, the wrong constituency. Um... We declare war. We raise our armies in Athlone. And poor Constantine, we're kicking him while he's down. We're in a, a massive island islands-wide war at the moment. Uh, we're still at war with Lothringa. Not too sure how that's proceeding. And we will, of course, have Flansina leading. And he will march into Dundalk. In a roundabout fashion. Now, we'd also want to watch with what's going on over in um, in Britain. Uh, I think, oh man, here's like the one soldier that they still have from their absolutely insane declaration of war against the Isles. I have no idea what possessed them to do such a thing. But um, yeah, they're bringing in like a single soldier. I think they have five soldiers to defend the area. Oh, this Brendan Grace, why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Um, he'll stop endorsing me, and he'll become my rival. We'll condemn him, 
we become pious. Can we murder the devil? We can. There's a very high chance that I'll be discovered for it. Uh, we're going to start this war first of all. Actually, do you know what? There's a lot going on. If if somebody was to die in the middle of a war, you wouldn't notice it, would you? I mean, it's just another it's just another person dead in the middle of a war. <clears throat> Shh, don't say anything, don't say anything. The amount of times that we've tried to uh, to get this guy to, to join us. Um... Mall me that's a nice that's a nice name. So you've Mead from from uh Mead. Mead meaning the middle, servant of the middle, which is kind of what it's uh, what her name means. Um We could arrest her. <laughs> Thanks for the child, now you're under arrest. Uh I think we'll I think we'll go with that. A child born on the eve of our victory and the unification of Ireland. Well bits of Ireland. Some bits of Ireland. Um, oh man, it's 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 almost heartbreaking to have to fight these these five guys. And we captured a member of the bodyguards of Gwendolyn. So that sounds like a mercenary company. It is indeed a mercenary company. And a champion after winning the battle. The Battle of Dundalk. We just basically took these these men uh, prisoner. My stress is low, and I don't want it to go too much lower because I actually need to keep it up. For there's there's some stuff that uh, stress is going to benefit my martial and prowess if I go back down the um, the the intrigue tree. So I might go back to that at some stage. I don't want to I don't want to deplete it and and leave it at nothing. So what we're going to do is we're going to release this guy. We're going to gain a hook on him. So this is a member of um a he's a captain of a, a mercenary group. But of course, we are dedicated. We are dedicated to insular Christianity. We are going to demand that anyone that we release from prison um we will demand that anyone that we release from prison uh, converts. Now this guy is a 12 military. I don't think he's going to be better than my son. Uh, I should be up here to, to this. Oh, he's nearly. He's nearly. Yeah, he's not much good for much else. So we will force him to uh, convert. And we will gain a weak hook on him. And we begin the siege of Dundalk. You really had no choice. You, yeah, you pretty much didn't. And uh, that's a. I don't want to. I don't want to torture that man. That's. Oh, he's dying. Oh Lord. Well, that hook isn't gonna. He's dying, but he's going to die, as a member of the true faith, as a member of insular Christianity. Um, we probably gave him like a pamphlet and a formula for for how to properly calculate the date of Easter. That's probably what we did. Like as he was going out, and we probably gave him an exam just to just to see if they could calculate the date of Easter. Just give them random years. Nineteen twenty-two, and they have to tell us what the the date of Easter for the year is going to be, or um, tell them the phases of the moon, and then they have to tell us what the date of Easter for that year is. That's probably what we did with those those guys. So we have an interesting development or two here. Uh, Bavaria has now dropped to seventy percent war score against. I'm getting confused, Lothringa, and uh, we're still at 45, so our war leader, the um, the king of the West Franks, has done absolutely nothing. Um, that's pretty much the their entire army down here, the entire Lothringian army. Um, oh, Green Graffador has, yeah, Green Graffador is a bit of a... Green Graffador, well, he is sadistic. He is sadistic. That child is is worrying me. Um, King Constantine lost his war against the Isles. Guys, can you imagine that? Outnumbered a lot to one. He lost somehow. How could that happen? My spouse wants to invest in Athlone. My lord, it has come to my attention that there is a rare opportunity to invest. Oh, hell yeah, it's rare as tribals. Um... So, successful business endeavors, what will that give us? Uh, tech, dev growth, I don't think we even get dev growth as as uh, tribals. I'm not too sure it even it, it impacts us. Um, control goes up. I think we're okay for control. 
Uh, or prestige. Ooh. So we could either have prestige or a bit of extra tax for a while. So we can... Holding tax 5% for how long? For 10 years? I think he's a bit more... Um, he's a bit more... Narrow focused than that. This is interesting. I have I have a family member. Oh, he has no he's no troops anyway. But I have a family member in the Isles who can uh, not in the Isles, but in the other place who can come and uh, and fight for me. Um, interesting. Right, we're up to. Oh, I suppose now that they've actually pulled out of the war, they're at um, they're at they're at full capacity. Um, we'll wait for that. those guys to lock in we will hopefully hit them before they withdraw and then we're going to have to take the battle to Scotland the battle of Drogheda so where are we where are we sieging first Dumbarton Kukurka comes of age now the poor old uh, poor old Kukurka um, nobody Kukurka wants to talk to your father I'm finding it difficult to form alliances. We already have alliances with Bourbon and with Burn because these are actually my grandchildren. So these would be Kukurka's nephews. Thomond is already ours. So this is House Robertine. We have um, what's our what's our numbers with House Robertine? Uh, oh Christ! Oh, he's not looking great. That's his primary heir. He's a bit he's a bit slow, bless him. He's 17, he's married to a 48-year-old woman. Who's your primary heir, so then? Is Judith. Judith is 12. I presume. I presume Judith won't accept nope. Oh gods, no. Um Count Renand is marrying up. Here's what we might do. Here is what we might do. Um, we might leave it a while. We might uh, we might leave it a while. Because, Kukurka, there's a good chance that your father is going to get himself a new hat. You think that's a fancy hat. Kukurka, you hold on a minute. First thing he does on his, what is he, 16th birthday? First thing he does on his 16th birthday is joins a plot to murder a bishop. This family. So, Scotland is after getting itself involved in another war is is he a lunatic <laughs> genuinely is he insane scotland alba is after getting itself involved in another war it attacked the isles this absolutely terrifying superpower which had ten thousand uh, troops in an alliance um and now it's after going into another war he has no troops he, he's he's declared war after I declared war on him. So he's started a war on somebody after I started this war to take Oriel. Now we're sieging down land up here. Our war score is going up rapidly. We were at 11. We're up to 24 and we've done nothing else. We're now up to 25. Um, so hopefully we will see it fall shortly. Brendan Grace, I really am sorry to do this to you, but you're being an arsehole. Uh, what are we going to do? Uh, ooh, a subtle trail of candles. Also, oh, we're going to lead an assassin to uh, to kill him. 95% chance it'll succeed. Do it. The assassin performed spectacularly. And Urkid is... Or it's Urkid is finally dead. Heh. Thankfully, my invo involvement uh, remains unknown. Uh, I've lost a lot of stress. Whoa, I've lost a lot of stress. And uh, hopefully we get a new nicer bishop. One that does not endorse me. The devil. Um, a lot of stuff happened there. Right, a lot of stuff is just after having very, very quickly. First thing we will do is we will start with our uh, diplomacy lifestyle perk thingamajig. So we're gaining extra prestige and now we're going to gain even more prestige per dread. So 1% extra per level of dread. Let's see how this affects us. We're at 2.3% at the moment. We come in here, we go for firm hand, we unlock, and let's see if it comes up. It goes up to uh, about 1.2% per month, so that's pretty good. So he does have a a moderate level of dread. It's not it's not exactly the 
the craziest. It's not exactly massive, but we might now we can go down uh, different routes where we can start to uh, to push up our dread and to drop the decay level as well. Now that we're we're kind of moving in this direction again, like I said, he's not dreadful. He's not terrifying. He's unsettling. Is the way that I look at it. Um, we've taken some. We've taken a. Um, Ooh, that's actually... Who's that? Is that... Um, McAlpin's grandson. We've taken his grandson hostage during the Siege of Dumbarton. Is he going to inherit? He is. Well, that's if he's that's if he's left in power. He's going to be released on the condition that he... converts to insular Christianity. Absolutely. Off you go. But you convert, first of all. Oh, can, if we, right, yeah, he won't allow us with the weak hook. I'd nearly, I'd nearly torture him. Do you know what? We'll let him go. We'll let him go. We'll demand his conversion. We will have him as a, uh, an agent of insular Christianity. We're up to 87% war score. Probably if we take one more, one more place, um, we should have his, his, um, there we have it. Insular Christianity. If we can take one more place, what's after happening here? Uh, dropped to 62. It was at 82, and it's now it's dropped to 62. We might need to take one or two more places. It's all in good fun, though. Uh, doesn't look like we're able to siege this place, does it? Am I am I right? Oh, the fort level is too high. Add uh, better minute arms. Let's see. Maybe this isn't a great place to siege down. Um, the fort is a four. And we're losing ground in um, in the West Frankish claims. Battles lost, minus 13%. So he seems to be losing a chunk of wars. I haven't been helping. Scotland is in flames. Scotland is absolutely disintegrating. Um, here, the West Frankish king is calling me into another war, uh, to the thoughtful High Chieftain Flansen of Munster. I call on you to honour your alliance and join me in the Breton War for Prince Bletton's claim on the county of... I can pronounce Irish names. Avranche. I'm going to go with Avranche. It's probably wrong. Um, look at... I look so happy. How could you go to war with him? Oh, look at the big happy face in him. That's a lot of... That's a lot of troops. Um... We will accept. So we're now into three wars. We have more troops, but the the West Franks are in a bad position. Another entrant has came into the war. Um, I think he's he's up against like a ten k people now. Who's who's actually fighting this? This just seems to be like a tiny is an internal war for Italy. So. Lothringa is defending is uh, defending against Bavaria. It's defending against West Francia and ourselves. It's defending against Frueli. Um, there's an independence war in the parts of of northern Italy that aren't uh, captured. Oh, and parts of northern Italy that uh, are not northern Italy. Uh, parts of England, part of Lothringa that we occupy. We can sway our bishop this time because it'll give us stress. Um. But we can always just go down into the dungeon and torture somebody. We don't have anyone at the moment, but uh, we have no stress levels at the moment, so we can uh, we can we can do this. God, look at the size of him! Look at the size of him. He's a rational gentleman. Constantine the lunatic will not accept our demands for peace. We have to continue to siege down more and more of Alba. Uh, further weakening it. It's in enough wars as it is, but he won't He won't negotiate with us. Okay, he's in two wars. Um, he's trying to attack someplace. I have no idea what he's, what he's thinking about. He's actually not doing too bad. That's a pity. But we're going to have to move up into Dundee, uh, siege down Dundee, and hopefully then he will see sense. Actually, we're not going to siege down Dundee. Up to Aberdeen! As long as nobody else is sieging Aberdeen. There's actually such a demand now for places. Um, that's a size 3. We might leave that so then. Wait, you can't siege there. There's one man. What does that look like? There's one man standing at the gate. Screaming. 
there's a peasant uprising in Munster. Green Graffador has been driven from Munster, as uh, from Thormund, as the peasants rise up against uh, Dermot, the silly fool. Uh, I can offer to join his war, which is what we're going to do in a minute. We might actually have to split our forces and bring them back. Is this Green Graffador's doing again? F finally, I'm free to start my life anew. Is this Green Graffador's doing again? Um... This was this was maintaining one of our alliances into the into the Robertines. Um, we do not want these alliances to go. What is Flan? What is what is this lunatic at? We don't have the ability to to imprison him, even though we know that he murdered somebody um, previous to this. What is the other lunatic at? I think it's him. I can't be certain. Right. Okay, we'll do a couple of things. First of all, uh, Green Graffador, as you can't um, increase control there, control, increase the control up here in this place. Are we going to have to put our wife on protecting, um, are we going to have to put our wife on, on like, um, assisting Fanula to, to disrupt schemes. Um, rapidly, we pick up our army and we could sail it back, but you know what? We'll uh, we'll go the long way around. I'm 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 not too sure what's going to happen if uh, if Dermid gets overthrown. I don't know. Am I too pushed? But while we have finally, after forcing our demands, captured Angus, captured Fife, uh, Lennox. Did we get any? Did we get any prisoners? No, we didn't. That was disappointing. We did. We did force somebody to convert to insular Christianity. However, we finally we come. We enforce our demands. He has no choice but to accept. To the reclusive, High Chieftain Flan Sinna, may wisdom ever elude you. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Oriel is ours. Our ma is finally back in the hands of insular Christianity. And we gain some fame. Oh, so be it. Now we have more, we have more domains than we can, uh, oh, I like the, they've, they've put in the, um, the domain spelling of domain as, um, as opposed to the other, the, uh, was it Latin or whatever kind of spelling it was that used to confuse people. Um, so we can't, we can't hold any more, why can't I hold all these counties? Well, first of all, I'm just after noticing this. Uh, oh, I thought the, the lands in Lothringa were uh, were after being sieged back. They're not. So we're bringing back our army and we're heading for um, Thormund to try and... Well, no, we're not. The first thing we're going to do... Is we're going to offer uh, to join his war. Offer to join war. Offer to come to the aid of our ally. Um... So I'll just sort this one out. First of all, um, he gains 10 opinion of us, or we gain 75. Yep, we'll do that one. And uh, we'll offer to join his war. Um, but it, oh, I, I hate talking to him. I hate saying, here, can we join your war? So um, it makes me shy. We will do that. And now we have another son, Conmol. Uh, let's give it a... Let's give it a... Let's give it a good insular name. What? Benedict, Nicholas, Christian, what? These aren't insular. Salvador? Uh, let's see. Urquid. Named after our bishop that we murdered. Absolutely. Who could have... I mean, that somebody murdered. I don't know who murdered him. Who could possibly have murdered our bishop? And why would somebody possibly murder our bishop? Uh, I think it's a good, holy name to give our child after we have taken back our ma uh, and secured one of the holy sites of insular Christianity for the insular religion. And, um, oh, we get a little achievement for having ten children. So we're now at war against these guys. Hopefully we can rush down in time to raise the siege. 
this has happened to us before where we've lost at the very last moment. Out come the swords! All he has to do is hold on and not surrender until this battle ends. Um, I actually have the... Ah, oh, okay, we won. I wasn't too sure. I wasn't too sure what actually happened there for a second. The peasant uprising has been brought to an end... Early in the year 901, we won the war led by uh, Chieftain Dervid Mok Dungol of Thomond against Onvara, or Onvara, Umwell, Shoplon. The peasant faction is disbanded and the leader is imprisoned. All rebelling counties have their popular opinion forcefully increased. Um, I don't know what that's going to do for control. Oh, it's at zero. Oh, it's at zero. That's bad for our armies. That's bad for our armies. We disband the army in the middle of a war. I'm impressed we can even disband the army in, in the middle of two wars. Um, we're a bit stressed. Let's come to our court. Let's come to our prison. Let's visit our friend. Let's let's release him. Ten. That's uh, not a lot of money. Twenty-one, Marshal. Oh, let's... Wait, no. Let's talk about this. This man was going to be... Um, this man was going to be uh, tortured. Uh, no. 21. <clears throat> Greeting, sir. How would... Ah, oh, he won't go do it for... He won't... Uh... We will negotiate your release on the condition that you join us. I, I will be a benevolent ruler. A good and benevolent king. I will be a king. Uh, you have no choice. You absolutely have no choice. Uh, farewell, goodbye, wherever in the world it is that uh, that we're... Oh, you're going to Athlone. Okay. He's not going to be happy. My son and heir, who keeps murdering all my wives. A sign. Uh, I just got you out of a lot of trouble. So let's let's uh, let's see who we can who we can put instead of you. You want a seat in the if you want a seat in the council, stop being useless at everything. So as battles rage around the world, we're we're at war with a lot of people. Uh, if we can zoom in a bit and see, we're at war with Lothringa. There's a large empire here for West Francia's claims on the kingdom of Italy. Um, we're also at war with Brittany for part of their claims on West Francia, I think, and they've they've already pushed in, uh, causing considerable damage. I'm not too sure West Francia is going to be able to to resist either of these, but it's it's wedged between a war now between um, Brittany and Lothringa. It's it's heavily losing the war against Brittany, Brittany, and. Um, it's lost 20% war score here. I think the places that I've occupied are the only ones that are still occupied. They're still holding Turin, but they're losing battles left, right, and center. And Lothringa, of course, is also holding out against even more wars now. Well, there's the Independence War, and now there's three separate wars for Northern Italy. I have no, or for the Kingdom of Italy. I have no idea what actually happened here. So it's a, mas a massive succession crisis, I imagine. We're going to sort out our own succession crisis. We come to Flansena, and in a big, awkward, roundabout way, uh, we come to the Kingdom of Ireland, the Duchy of Connacht is where we start, and for 125 gold, we create the Duchy of Connacht. And now, with Connacht, with the Duchy of Connacht, the High Chiefdom of Connacht, and the High Chiefdom of Munster, and seven counties. We don't hold Dublin. Uh, we don't hold Leinster. That has fallen to the Vikings. We have taken back uh, just one of the four counties of Ulster. But finally, Flansinna, after almost 40 years of endless campaigning, and uh, battling against his shyness to try to form alliances, finally, Flansinna is in a position 
on the 30th of April, 901, to crown himself. King of Ireland, High King Ordree Neheran. Ruling from Athlone. And he has now gotten himself a shinier hat. And is hopefully in a position to defend against the split of his kingdom. Uh, until just now we were looking at a scenario where Flans in his kingdom would have been rent asunder on his death. One son would have gained Munster, another son would have created the Duchy of Connacht and gained that, and the kingdom would have been split in two. But now, ruling from Athlone, Flan Sinna sits as High King. Uh, the Duchy, the High Chiefdom of Connacht will go to... It's looking like Geralt is going to get it, and not uh, Maul Shocknail, unless... Maul Shocknail gets the High Chiefdom of um, of Munster, and the Kingdom of Ireland goes to Green Graffador. So Green Graffador will be the King of Ireland, uh, Munster will go to one son, Connacht will go to another, and hopefully Green Graffador will get Athlone as well, at least. That's, that's not too bad. And Geralt is going to get Connacht and Brethne, which is a bit unusual. Maul Shocknail will get Desmond, and um, Kukurka will get... That place way, way up in the corner. So a bit awkward. We will need to uh, we will need to to increase at loan, finance at loan a bit, uh, push it up in the world. But there you go, Flansinna, High King Flansinna. In the next episode, we will see if Flansinna's high kingship will make people like his kids more. If it'll open up uh, new marriage alliances. We have to, we're still not secure against the, the, um, Gardariki, who could land vastly more forces than, than we could, um, put together, uh, within, within the space of a few minutes. Um, we're still occupied by a lot of Vikings. These obviously aren't Vikings. These are the Welsh. They're fine. And, uh, we're seeing, we're seeing a bit of foreign interference on the island of Ireland. Ireland has established its foothold. I thought we would have lost this by now, but we haven't. We haven't. And uh, what we might indeed see is Ireland actually turning the tables on the Vikings and, and involving itself in the affairs of Scandinavia. Uh, possibly to uh, to forge out a little Scandinavian kingdom up there. But um, in the next episode, we'll see if we can form any new alliances. But definitely, we are going to have to put together our... Get our army back to shape after the the uh, the wars that we fought. Uh, return to Britain, siege down Lothringa, and possibly cross the Channel onto the European continent for the first time, even though we were up in Scandinavia. Uh, cross across into um, into the European continent for the first time. We could come straight down through here through Lothringa and then head across to siege. I don't know how they've ended up with a, with, with a bit of Cornwall, but that's that's something to be decided on the next episode. Thank you very much for joining me as Flan Sinna uh, completed his growth to becoming the King of Ireland. And um, we shall see in the next episode if he can cement his place in history. Or if it will be all for nothing and he will be wiped out by the Vikings if they decide to come first. Thank you all for joining me and I shall talk to you on the next episode.